Does your child's future in maths depend on what set they're placed in? What do sets even mean? And should you be worried about the exams that your child may get in year seven to determine their sets? If you've ever asked these questions to yourself or you have your first child going through year seven, then you're not alone. In the next few minutes, I'm going to be taking you through Year 7 Math Sets, how they work, what the schools look out for, and how you can best support your child. And by the end, you will feel a lot more confident about this new chapter in your child's education. In secondary school, in maths, students are separated into different groups based on their ability in the subject. These are called sets, and sets are essentially groups based on a child's current ability in maths. Now, each set works at a different pace, which is suited to the students in that group. For example, you can have a set one group, and this is usually the top group, and they work the fastest. The kids in that group usually understand the topics really quickly. They only need one example, and they get it. So they work at a really fast pace. While you may have some lower sets, such as set four and set five, and these are students who may take a little bit longer understanding the concepts. And usually they work on the more foundational skills. Some schools may have more sets, depending on the number of students that they have and the varied abilities of the kids in that year group. So how do schools decide which set your child will be in? Many schools at the start of year seven give your child an assessment based on key stage two content. So stuff that they already know from primary school. And then this test is marked and they are placed in their appropriate set based on their results. Now, some parents and of course the students get really tense and worried about these upcoming exams. Don't be, because the content, remember, is from key stage two. So it's stuff that you already should know. It's not going to determine whether you're gonna be in higher or foundation at the end of year 11. You've got a long way to go before that happens. It's more like a review of the content that they've learned from primary school, but using the tests of your secondary school. Now, if you want to help prepare your child, or even if you are a year seven student watching this, then one of the things that you can do is to go over the content from key stage two so that you can better prepare for these tests. Because remember, you probably haven't done any maths over the summer holidays and you may have forgotten some stuff. So it'd be really useful for you to go over your key stage two books. Now, one thing you must remember is that these sets are not set in stone. So whatever the outcome of these exams, your child will have an opportunity throughout this year to improve and then move up sets. And if they don't do it this year, then they will have lots of time in the following years to move up those sets as they become more comfortable with secondary school mathematics. The goal is to always challenge them at their right level and for them to build a strong foundation in mathematics. So whether they're in set one or set four or anything in between, remember, they will always have the opportunity to grow and succeed in maths. I wish you guys all the best for year seven. And don't forget, I will be posting great content across all my social media platforms. So make sure you follow this channel and give this video a like. Bye for now.